the block and down the street and all around town. Chances are you're bound to meet the clown about town. Mad about, clown about, cat about town. Go round with the clown about town. Ruaga, snacky, rubber, baggy, clown about town. Hey! Bozo told me to go fly a kite, and that's exactly what I'm doing here at Calumet Park, where they have the Chicago Park District's kite program, and here to tell me all about it is Julio Flores. Hello, Hi, Julio. Rusty. How are you? I'm doing okay. Tell me about uh, how you got into uh, making kites here. Well, uh, I learned how to make kites from my father and my grandfather, and they were born in Puerto Rico, and this is a kind of kite called a chiringa, and it's a six-sided kite. Uh, it's got sticks on the back, they use tails, and uh, I like to decorate mine with big faces of cartoons and Indian and African types of artwork. Was you made this, you didn't buy it? Yes, I made this. That is so cool. This is so cool. Well, how do you go about making a kite? Well, you certainly don't need to spend a lot of money. Uh, there's a very simple kind of kite. It's called a sled kite. It's made from a paper bag. And here's an example of one right now. So this is the kind of thing I'll show you today. Wow, that's great. Show me how to do it. OK. Now, this is something that all of the children are doing um, in our tent right now. And it's a very simple kind of kite. There are various parts of the kite that you need to cut. This is a regular paper bag. I've cut off the bottom of the bag so that the bag opens up like this. And what you'll need to do is just go ahead and cut off the triangles that are on the front of this bag. You don't need this kind of a bag and you don't need this size. You can try using a brown bag or um, a small bag from, from the store. But this is basically it. And the back of the kite, uh, well, you, what you would want to do next is then decorate the front of right here. This is the top of the kite. Wow. Well, it looks like there's one here that's already been pre-decorated. Yes, yes. So, and look at that. Help, Rusty, help. I think I'll use this one. Hey, Julio, are these kids making a kite like I am? Yes, they are, Rusty. And uh, they're cr decorating them with markers and crayons. And they're adding ribbons with tape and glitter and colored tissue. So they have a lot of materials to use, uh, to use their own creativity and, and create something that is unique and exciting for them. Cool. Great, okay. what's the next step? Well, then we'd have to go and give it a try and fly it. Okay, well, let's okay. go do that. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, Julio, I heard that there's lots of safety rules that you have to remember uh, about a, uh, flying a kite. That is true. Uh, many times people fly their kites wearing gloves. Also, you need to be careful with trees, and you don't want to fly a kite near uh, telephone wires or electrical wires or even near an airport. It's oh. much better to go to a wide open uh, field. Remember that. Okay, what next? What do we do now? Well, uh, with your back to the wind, you can release your kite, like toss it up in the air like that, okay? And then your, the wind will catch it, and you can just release string little by little until you get it at a nice height. That's working great. Hey, it's working, I'm flying it. I'm flying it. <laughs> if you guys want to find out more, contact the Chicago Park District and they'll let you know about their kite program. This has been a lot of fun. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks a lot. Goodbye, Julio, thank you. Bye. Woo! Like a snacky, rubber, baggy, clown about town.